Hey what's up guys, it's Andrew back again with another video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to record your desktop using Nvidia's immensely popular and highly praised Shadowplay. So released back in 2013, Shadowplay makes it extremely easy to record gameplay, but also capture those critical moments which you may have missed in between recordings. Now although Shadowplay is of course predominantly for game capture, it is possible to capture your desktop for those like me that need it. Now real quick before we get started, I need to point out that this will only work on a desktop if you have a 600 series graphics card or higher, or if you're on a notebook, then a 660M graphics card or higher. Now this is because the graphics drivers that are necessary to run Shadowplay are only available through these series GPUs. Alright, so to get started, go ahead and open up GeForce Experience. Now for convenience, I have mine installed in my taskbar, however it can typically be found just with a quick start menu search. Now once open, just navigate to the preferences, and then to Shadowplay on the left hand panel. Now this will go ahead and open up all the Shadowplay options, but the one that we're interested in here is the Allow Desktop Capture button. Now although it should be a little obvious on where to go from here, if you tick the box it should bring up a small cycle icon near one of the corners of your screen. Now while this usually works, sometimes the icon will not appear right away, however there's a very easy fix for that. So most of the time a simple computer restart is all it takes to fix this problem, and the icon should appear in one of the corners of your screen, which by default is usually the bottom right corner. Now while it may seem a little cryptic at first, this icon notifies when Shadowplay is on and ready to record. Okay now real quick before recording, let's go back into the Shadowplay menu, scroll down to save location, and change the directory to a convenient place that you wish to save your videos to. Alright so now we're ready to record. So by default, record is Alt and F9, however due to a slightly awkward keyboard layout, I changed mine to backslash. Now as you can see, after stopping recording, I have a clean, crisp 60fps file all ready to go, and best of all, it looks great. Well that's all for this video. If you liked it and you want to see more videos like this, then please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and until next time, thank you for watching.